Yieldmax ETFs boast amazing dividend yields, some even reaching as high as 66%. But are they actually good investments? This video is not financial advice, nor is it a recommendation. Please do your own due diligence before investing into anything. All Yieldmax ETFs work on the same synthetic covered call strategy, but each one does it on a different individual stock or ETF. Right now, the Yieldmax ETFs that are offered include TSOY, which does this strategy against Tesla stock, APLY, which uses Apple stock, AMZY for Amazon, NVDY for NVIDIA, OARK for the ARK ETF, NFLY for Netflix, FBY for Meta, which is the parent company for Facebook, GOOY for Alphabet, which is the parent company of Google. And by the time this video comes out, they'll have probably launched CONY for Coinbase stock. Their synthetic covered call strategy, which is derived from the traditional covered call, but it's more of a hybrid, works as follows. The ETF buys a long call option on the underlying stock for about six months out or longer with a strike price at or near the current price at the time of purchase. This allows them a chance at benefiting from share price appreciation since the contract premiums would also increase as share prices go up. To pay for this call option, they sell a long put against the same stock also with a strike price at or near current price at the time of sale with an expiration of at least six months out. These long options together provide nearly 100% exposure to the price action of the underlying stock. To generate their monthly dividends, the ETF sells short-term call options on the stock covered by shares they could buy using the long call if they had to. These short calls generate the dividends they pay every month. For both the long and short options, they generally avoid assignment by trading out of contracts or rolling them. Even if a call is doing well, if most of the theta on that call is decayed, meaning most of the time value of that contract is gone, they generally err on the side of buying to close out that contract to free up collateral and sell the next contract as soon as possible. For days with big swings in price, they'll trade in a way that captures the most gains they can or protect our capital as much as possible. However, because they only own calls against the stock, not the actual shares, upside is capped. These are actively managed ETFs, but hearing one of their managers explain how they trade on another channel made me feel much more comfortable with these funds. That said, because these are actively managed ETFs, they have a high expense ratio of 0.99%. With the money you invest in buying shares of the ETF, they buy treasury bonds with varying durations. This is used as collateral while also generating some returns in the process. Now that we understand the strategy, which of these ETFs, if any, are good investments? Since all of these ETFs do run the exact same strategy, the question has more to do with the underlying stock than the fund itself. If your goal is just monthly income regardless of the price of your shares, then you want the ETF that trades against a more volatile stock. You can check this by pulling up that stock's options chain and checking the implied volatility as shown here on the screen. The higher this value is, the more likely you are to get a higher dividend payout from that yield max ETF. If instead you prefer a better overall return with solid monthly income, you'll want to focus on funds that trade stocks that are bullish but experience share price appreciation gradually over a long period of time. This allows a covered call strategy to more fully benefit from those price increases in the underlying stock. If you like this video, you might also enjoy this one here on the screen. Subscribe to join the Cash Flow Club and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss a single video.